So in the last video, I drew a really ugly sketch of what the dashboard page looked like. And we also drew a, a tab navigation at the bottom of the screen. So we're, what we're going to do in this video is create that tab navigation in React using a tab navigator. And so for each one of these uh, tabs at the bottom, we're gonna make a screen. So there will be one called dashboard screen. There will be one called activity screen or history screen. And that'll show all the transactions that I've made in my account. We'll have a search screen. And then we'll have a settings screen. And when you click each of those tabs, it's gonna uh, navigate to one of, one of the screen components that we made. So I'm gonna jump into the code real quick. So earlier, uh, we created a fresh React app, which came with a few screens out of the box, uh, but they're called home, links, and settings. We can keep settings because we need settings, but we're gonna replace uh, the home and the links with our own screens. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So there's a screens directory. And so we said we're gonna have a dashboard screen. So I'll make that. We have a history screen. So I'll do history screen, or I'll call it activity screen. I'll show everything I've done in my account and also make one called a search screen. So I'll do search screen. Okay, and what do we need to actually make one of these screens? Well, I'm gonna do uh, the dashboard screen first. So like most uh, React apps, we need uh, to import React from React, and then we can do class dashboard screen extends react.component. And then we can export the uh, screen so that's available and it can be uh, imported uh, from other components. So I'm gonna do export default dashboard screen and I'm gonna make a constructor and we can initialize this and just use some empty state right now. And then in render, um, we can just return a view. Um, and so a view is in the React Native package. So I'll import view from React Native. We'll return this in a render function. And then also get text as well. So text in view. So we'll do a view with some text and we'll just say dashboard screen. Okay. Okay, so now we have a dashboard screen. What do we do with it? So we need to hook this up to our tab navigation. Under the navigation folder, you see we have a file called main tab navigator.js. If I open that, you see it imports a bunch of screens and then wires them all together. So let's go over this. Uh, I'm gonna delete the link screen since we don't need it. And then we're gonna replace the home screen with dashboard screen since we just made that. And we're gonna make sure we can at least load two tabs first. So I'm gonna replace the home screen with dashboard screen. And everywhere it says home screen, home stack right now, or home, I'm just gonna replace it with dashboard just to get this running. So there's a lot of scaffolding code uh, that's built in whenever you create a new React app like this. So I'm gonna replace dashboard, um, home with dashboard. So let's do that. And I'm gonna go all the way down. I'll set the tab bar label. And then here we can also set the icon. So you can see it uses different icons depending on whether it's iOS or Android. So if it's iOS, we're gonna use um, the iOS speedometer. So we're gonna use speedometer for the dashboard. Um, and then we'll use MD speedometer, which is material design, uh, if it's Android. So we have a dashboard stack and I'm gonna replace this home here uh, with dashboard and get rid of this links stack altogether since we're getting rid of links and we'll leave settings in place. At the very bottom here, you see we, pat we build this object that represents the tab navigator and we're passing the different stacks. So since I replaced the home stack, I'll replace that with home, with dashboard and I'll get rid of the link stack. And that should be about what we need. So I'm gonna run this in the emulator. So let me make sure that's still running. And then I will say run on device or emulator. And let's see if this reloads and if we get two tabs, one should say dashboard and have a little speedometer in the tab and then one of them should say uh, settings and we should be able to navigate between them. So you see we have the dashboard, uh, dashboard screen that's active right now, it's highlighted. It's loading that dashboard content we have. And then if I click settings, it switches over to the settings screen which has some information about our application. So I'm gonna go back to dashboard. 
Uh, one thing you'll notice is that there's no heading here, so there's an option for that. And let me remind myself what it is real quick. I'm going to look. I believe it's called Navigation Options. Yes, um, Navigation Options. And we should be able to set this title here. So let's do that while we're building some more screens. So I have the dashboard screen. And so here at the top, I can do Static uh, Navigation Options equals. And then this just has a title. And I can just say Dashboard. Okay, and so that's my whole dashboard screen. Um, I'm gonna build a few more screens. So we already made activity and search. So let's go ahead and copy this code and just get this stub code running in our four tabs and then we'll start filling it in more. So activity screen is empty. I'll paste that code from dashboard screen and just swap it out. So we'll do activity screen and I'll just call the title account activity, okay. And then we'll export, make sure you export it as activity screen. And then the content will be like, hello, activity screen. All right, so that's in there. And then we'll have a search screen. And likewise, we'll do the same thing. Import React, we'll do activity screen. Okay, and then the title of the page will be, or the screen, I mean, will be activity. And then we'll say, this is the activity screen. Okay, and then we export it as activity screen. And that should get us four screens going, and then we can hook all of those up to the tab navigator. So what I'll do is import those new screens. So we'll have activity from activity screen, activity screen, and then we'll have search screen. Search screen that we import from the search screen. All right, so we have four screens imported. We only have two stacks right now. So let's go ahead and replace those and uh, choose the icon. So we'll just do a little more copy paste at the moment and get this up and running. So we have the dashboard stack. And so now we also have an activity stack. which has an activity screen. And then some of these stacks will have more than one screen later. For instance, uh, the dashboard screen and the uh, activity screen. If you wanna like drill down and click one screen and then go to another one, what you're gonna do is have two screens on the stack. So you can click, go to a new screen, and then that, that'll power the back button. So the back button will take that screen off the stack and go to the previous one. And we'll talk about that more when we add an asset screen later. So we have the activity stack. Um, and then I'm going to replace a couple more of these. And then there's a pulse icon that we can use for the activity screen. So iOS, and it's called pulse, and MD pulse. And then the search screen is will be here, and we'll add that. And we'll call search colon search screen. And then the search stack will have the search icon, which will look like a magnifying glass, as it usually does. So I'll do MD search, um, and then the tab label will be search. And then that should be just about it. I'm going to save that and see if it reloads. Um, certain types of changes, you have to um, reload it and make sure you get the fresh bundle. So it looks like that didn't reload the navigation automatically. So I went, I did stop and then swiped away the application and then went back to run on Android device emulator again and so now it's going to download a fresh javascript bundle and you see we still only have two tabs and that's probably because i didn't add these at the bottom so this bottom tab navigator has dashboard and settings i'm going to add activity stack and i'm going to add search stack here okay and then i'm going to try that one more time and so i'm going to hit stop i'm going to do that and then run it again so some changes it will automatically hot reload uh, some, it seems like you have to uh, restart the app. So I'm going to have that bundle go one more time. And then I think this time we'll see all the different tabs and we should see uh, heading titles on some of those screens. So you see my dashboard now has this dashboard up top and then it has the content. We have an activity screen with an account activity. We have a search screen and it looks like I didn't replace that out, but I'll replace that out as well. So that's the basics of how you create a set of screens and then have a bottom tab navigator navigate between those screens. And that's it for this video. The next video, we're gonna actually uh, hook up these screens to the Alpaca API 
so that we can retrieve some information from our account and then start displaying that information on our screens. Thanks. See you on the next video.